Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Going to beard. What, what do you think? Yes? No? Wife doesn't like it. Um, well, you might think, well, if the wife doesn't like it, why are you doing it, Julian? And that is a very good question, because I often grow a beard, wife doesn't like it, I, I shave it off again, but I thought I'd have another go. Well, um, why not? You know, it's lockdown. What else have I got to do? Wearing the cap. Yes, wearing the cap today. Why am I wearing the cap? Because unboxing the jewels. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes. But anyway, I am doing an un... Oops, something fell out. I'm doing an unpackaging. And this, this is the fourth collection of items from WeDayDeals.com. Uh, and I'm getting to be good friends with Ryan from uh, WeDayDeals.com. And this time, instead of him selecting the products, I selected the product. So I'm interested to see what they turn out like. WeDayDeals.com is a Chinese company, it's our website. They do a very wide range of mainly cycling, but also sort of motorcycling uh, related goods, which are good value, uh, cheap, yes, cheap, but uh, pretty decent products. And if you want to watch any of my three previous unpackagings of their products, then you can find them on my channel. So this is the fourth one and let's get straight into it and see what we've got. And the first thing we have here is a, so it's made in China. Um, I tumble a bit to read that. It is a, it's in a plastic package and it is a multi-tool. So let's have a look at this multi-tool. What do we have here? We have a collection of, we have a screwdriver there. See that? We have an Allen key there. We have an Allen key there. We have, I think, a cross, cross head, is that called? Or a Phillips screwdriver there. There is another Allen key there. And at this end, we have Ooh, a bit stiff there. Um, a um, another. Sorry. Ooh, ooh, blimey. Ooh, might have to put some ooh, grease on this, Ryan. Um, we have an Allen key there. That looks probably like a six six mil there. We have an eight mil there, and is that an eight and makes it a ten? Quite possibly. There we have another Allen key. There we have another Allen key. And here we have a chain breaker. Um, how does the chain breaker work? Um, uh, you're going to have to, oh, I see, you, you, you put those away. And that's how you unscrew the chain Break anyway, I won't go through that in all this detail. Uh, so you can see an Allen key set there, and this costs six dollars and seventy-five. I've got the the prices in dollars, but if you imagine the pounds, prices are not dissimilar. This is decent, but that's going to need some WD-40 to loosen that up because it's a little bit stiff as it is. So a useful collection of tools that I've just managed to drop one of them. It's uh, down there somewhere. Bear with, bear with. Um, is that it? No, that's not it. Um, ah, sorry, Ryan. Seem to have buggered it up and not got very far. So a multi-tool. What else do we have in here? This is what is this? You know these uh, unpackagings of mine are genuine because you can tell. I'm not suggesting that other YouTubers' unpackagings are not genuine, but this you can tell mine are genuine because I always struggle to actually get into. Uh, fuck's sake! Always struggle to. It's a plastic bag for heaven's sake! Now, no wonder. Right, how long is it that plastic bags last for? Is it is it? 
three thousand years? Is, is that it? That it take they take to biodegrade? I was talking to somebody the other day who who visited the Tutankhamun exhibition, and apparently they found plastic bags uh, in Tutankhamun's uh, tomb, and they they were perfectly reusable. You could put your food in them and put them into the um, uh, freezer, and and they were fine. So you know, folks, please. Don't throw away your single-use plastic bags. And if you are planning uh, to be uh, interred in a massive mausoleum under a pyramid somewhere in Egypt, don't take your plastic bags with you. So what is this item? This item is a cap. See that? That's quite a nice, quite a nice colour. They call that battleship grey, don't they? Um, Actually, I'm not sure they do call that because battleship grey is, is a lighter grey. I suppose if you were a battleship, or not that you, you were a battleship, but if you had a battleship and you were always going through very dark, very dark, gloomy, uh, kind of overcast weather, you might paint your battleship this colour, but otherwise you would paint it a kind of lighter grey. So let's take this unboxing cap off and I'll put this unboxing cap on because you can see what it's like and oh i think that's i think that's rather nice Do you think that's rather nice does it say what it's made of no i imagine it's some kind of synthetic material um oh that fits very nicely and it's nice nice and soft material it doesn't have a nice logo on the front perhaps it ought to say uh, wedaydeals.com or what does this say this says skoda we love cycling but then this is this is a cap produced by skoda whereas this one is produced by wedaydeals.com but i think i'll i think i'll keep that i think i'll keep that cap on you've probably noticed that um people who don't have very much hair uh, often wear caps or hats i am not one of those people actually i have um I have plenty of hair, less now since I've had it cut, but I have, uh, and the beard, you like the beard, or did I mention the beard? Um, but I, I think that's quite a nice cap. What do you think? I'll put, I'll put the brim up, otherwise it casts a shadow over my face and you don't, you don't want that. Right, here is another, did I tell you the price? $2.75, and that is a pretty cheap price for a cap, I think you'll agree. So let's try and get into this particular item. I will leave the links to these items uh, on the video and underneath the video. So if you do want to order them, you can do so. And this, I believe, is a bandana come uh, neck buff, come um, uh, neck buff. So let's just take the, take the cap off. And I'll put this on. Oh, I, I like that pattern. There's something Johnny Deppish about that pattern. Not that one ever wants any more these days since he, he rather fell from grace, didn't he, Johnny Depp, for various reasons. I'm just taking the, cap, um, the glasses off, putting the bandana on, and um, I'll put the cap on. It's a bit of a fashion shoot today, isn't it? I'll put the cap back on. Have I turned it inside out? I'll put the cap, there we are. I'll put the cap back on. Turn the brim up. There's the bandana. And this, of course, works as a, as a face covering. So if I was to, uh, because of the, the COVID situation, need to be wearing a face mask, at least at the moment, uh, and my glasses start to fog up, so I can't see you. You can probably see me because you're not wearing a mask uh, while watching my video. Unless I, I doubt if you are. You might be. I suppose you might be on a bus. Uh, in which case, in this country, you have to wear a mask on public transport. Otherwise, let me just uh, put that down because I can't, can't breathe very easily. Um, well, it's quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I've turned into a bit of a fan of the old buff. Uh, the buff, I think, is uh, a trademark. So I'm going to call it a, a neck gaiter. My friend Dustin Klein calls it a neck gaiter. Um, but that's, that's rather fetching, isn't it? What do you think? If I take the cap off and lift up the bandana... And then I just rather flick it in that way over my head like that. And it, it does make me look a little bit like a Hungarian washerwoman. But that, there's nothing wrong with looking like a Hungarian uh, washerwoman before I, I get oodles 
of uh, emails or messages or comments. Leave a comment if you're a Hungarian washerwoman and want to reproduce this look. Because this, this bandana, this um, Hungarian washerwoman stroke Johnny Depp-ish bandana is $2.25. I mean, you know, you can't say fairer than that because that is a pretty cheap price, isn't it? So I like, I like the bandana. I like the cap. I'm not 100% certain about the multi-tool at the moment until I've put some WD-40 on it and see if I can loosen that up. And the next item, oh, this is more plastic bags. Um, and is this more, more clothing? Ah, yes, look, these are, Oh, these are pants, look, uh, or I suppose what you'd call they are padded uh, with a a pad there. Um, so these are, I suppose, uh, the kind of shorts that you could wear under your gravel shorts. So if you wear, um, you, you go gravel cycling or mountain biking, something like that, or even just ordinary cycling, uh, but you want to have some padding to protect your, uh, your your nether regions, as it were, your 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 lower private parts. Do you have upper private parts? I suppose you could. Um, your lower private parts. Then these are the kind of things that uh, uh, you would wear. These are size uh, 3XL. I did get sent some uh, clothes from a Chinese company, and the sizing, I'm afraid, was rather rather different from what I was expecting. But this is. I don't know if you can see there as a, it's a kind of slightly meshish, mesh, mesh, mesh type quality there. So they're sort of uh, see through, but I, I don't expect you'll be getting close enough to me while I'm wearing these to see what I've got underneath. No, I suspect not. Now I have brought, uh, this is my friend. Um, this is friend, this is my friend Bear. There you are. Um, Bear and me have spent many happy nights. Uh, together, both before and after uh, my marriage. And uh, the, the reason I've brought Bear to share in this particular uh, unpackaging is because I wanted Bear to try on these pants because you really don't, and I, and I mean you really don't, uh, want to see me try on this pair of slightly see-through um, cycle pants. So I thought I'd bring Bear along. So Bear and uh, uh, Bear doesn't talk, uh, surprising as, as that may seem to some of you. So Bear is not in a position to either complain or object to being forced into a pair of padded cycling uh, shorts. So what do you think, Bear? Oh, oh got the gear, got the gear. Hate it, hate it. Fuck off, fuck off, don't do it. Oh. Shut up, Bear. Um, but that's all right, isn't it? Because these are $7.75. Now, how much do you pay, most of you? Because you probably get your pants. Or I, I know they're not padded pants. But maybe, maybe, depends on depends how old you are. But you may get your pants from Marks and Spencers and you probably pay about £5 or £10 or whatever it is. Um, and maybe you go to Primark and get them even cheaper. You get 40 pairs for a pound. But these ones are padded. And they are for use for when you are perhaps wearing your normal clothes or your gravel shorts or whatever over a pair of padded pants. And they're going to cost you $7.75. So I would say uh, you're onto a bit of a winner there. We Day Deals Dot com. I like them. I'll, I'll wear them, but you won't see me wearing them for obvious reasons. So let's move on to the last item in the package. And let me just let me just chuck that. Chuck. Now what I'm doing, okay, now the oceans, the oceans are full of plastic. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign my name. Right? I'm going to sign my name in felt tip pen on this plastic bag. And then I'm going to go to the ocean and I'm going to chuck it in like that. Right? I'm going to chuck it in. And uh, I'll put my, my uh, contact details, my email address and so on with my name. 
If you find that bag, right, if you pluck it out of the ocean when you are um, doing your, your ocean clear up sessions and you find that bag and you contact me, I will send you, yes, $10 or 10 of our English pounds. So there's a, there's a competition for you. It might take uh, 50 years, might take 100 years. I doubt if I'll be allowed that long, uh, around that long and good luck getting the money out of my estate. But anyway, if you find the bag in the ocean of your choice, uh, well, it only be in the ocean of your choice if, if the currents, the tidal currents, the tidal waves, as they flow around the earth, uh, they, they reach you and deposit the bag in your hand. Otherwise, you're, you're going to be out of luck. Right, now this actually says what it is, because this says bicycle repair kit. And on this side, it says there are six tools included. Can you see that? And here it says emergency repair, uh, tire repair, uh, easy to carry, has many uses. Do you see that? Has many uses. That's interesting. Uh, so I'm going to open this, this box and I'll just, I'll, just rip, I'll just rip the box like that. And it's got a, uh, a carry handle. I assume that's what this is. It's a carry handle. What is that? It's a Velcro. Ah, it's a bit of Velcro. Look at that. So you, oh, so you could um, strap it, I suppose, to your bike. Quite hefty to strap to your bike. But let's see what's inside. A bit like a, a bit like a makeup bag, isn't it? I had a. And a makeup bag. Well, it's not that kind of video, Nigel. Um, Nigel doesn't watch my videos anymore, by the way. I don't know if I offended him, but um, anyway, come back, Nigel. All is forgiven. Oh, this is rather nice, isn't it? Look, look. So it's like a like a mobile toolkit that you might keep in your car. Uh, I suppose you could strap it to your bike, but uh, let's see what we've got. We've got a a chain tool there. Uh, chain tool, yeah, I'm just spinning that round. You see, you probably know how a chain tool works, do you? Yeah, chain tool. What else do we have in here? Uh, this is a bracket to attach to your bottle cage, and I imagine the pump will fit in there. This is a... Uh, what would that be? Would that be a spoke tool, do you think? Uh, yes, this is a spoke tool spoke wrench all right with a uh, number of different sizes for your spokes so if you if you know anything about fixing your spokes you imagine a a wheel here i've got a wheel to hand not like blue peter you have a wheel to hand and you tighten your your spoke screws with that there and here you can't see me but i'm just taking this out is another uh, multi-tool. This is rather nice multi-tool. That has a Allen key and another Allen key and this one comes out a lot easier than the previous one did. Uh, so three, uh, no that's a Phillips screwdriver there, sorry I couldn't see that very clearly. And this is another collection of, uh, there's a flathead screwdriver and another Allen key. So four Allen keys and two screwdrivers uh, that would deal with most things on the bike, but not uh, not everything on the bike. But still, a nice nice little multi tool. This is a. I'll just have a look at the instructions. Try and work out what this is. Uh, hmm. Not quite sure what that is. It might be a, a something to do with a valve, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure. And then we have this, which is a looks a bit like a fish, doesn't it? Imagine a fish swimming along like that, and then that fish going along the other way. And I suspect uh, oh, I'm a bit clumsy today. Ah, look, it's a tire lever, and inside is a thing there. Now that could be used. What could that be used for? That would be used to 
rub your inner tube to roughen the surface so that you can then affix a patch and there would be a patch yes look there are six patches here so you have here a two tire levers in the shape of fish would that be a, a, a sardine perhaps or a, a tuna so that anyway a double fish tire lever and in one side you have a piece of metal that could be used to um, rub off dry skin but could also be used to roughen the inner tube and then six patches to repair the holes in your inner tube I rather like that I've always had a bit of a thing about fish actually never been a fisherman but um, the way that fits together in the shape of a fish let me see if bear is tempted by this what do you think right so the fish are, you can imagine the fish swimming along like this and a bear actually does a bear eat fish a bear shits in the woods, I know. This bear doesn't shit in the woods. This bear is a, it's an indoor bear. He only shits inside. So he comes along and goes, Poof, ah, look, there's a fight. Ah, no, no, look, the bear is attacking the fish. Oh, that's enough of that. Who, who do you think you are? Mrs. Doubtfire. All of a sudden, you're not Mrs. Doubtfire. And here is a pump. And I must say that's, that's a rather nice pump, isn't it? I've got to say, Ryan, now, hang on a minute, look, 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 sorry, I'm talking to myself. You would attach that to your valve, lift that up to lock it to your valve, and then, seems like a pretty decent pump. And that's, uh, that, that feels like metal. I don't think it's plastic. Uh, so that's rather nicely made. So I'm going to say, I think this, package is a, a winner um, bit big perhaps to put on your bike if you're going perhaps multi-day touring something like that and you've got you know a big bike packing bags or panniers or whatever it is then then yes you could put that in uh, but probably what you're better off doing is either keeping it in your car if you take your car and then you go cycling so you've got uh, a toolkit perhaps you go on a sportive with your car something like that or you just take out from this kit the bits that you need, for example, the, the patches and the tire lever set, and you use this to attach the pump to your bike, like that. Um, the chain tool is probably a little bit big to take with you on the bike. You want something a bit more uh, uh, portable, like, like this one. This one uh, was that I seem to have lost now. Sorry, this one was. So this one you might keep in your workshop at home. This spoke key you'd probably keep in your workshop at home as well. Uh, this collection of tools, I haven't quite understood what they're for yet. It might just be a collection of spare uh, screws for your bike. I'm not quite sure. And that um, little toolkit uh, sells for $21 on wedaydeals.com. So that collection of uh, five items, uh, I think four of them are very much a winner. The fifth one, the multi-tool, not necessarily, but have a look so, uh, later. Um, certainly it's pretty cheap because it's only 675, but if a multi-tool uh, is not uh, usable properly, then being cheap is no, is no advantage in my book. So I like the, uh, uh, like the, the, the pants, uh, I like the bandana, uh, I like the cap, uh, I like the, what was the other thing, the, that's one, two, three, four, ah, uh, and then the collection of tools. So, wedaydeals.com, I'll leave links to the various items. The t-shirt that I'm wearing, by the way, there is no gravel, uh, is in the same series as the one you can maybe just see there, which is Nobody Cares, and both of those t-shirts are available uh, from my uh, YouTube channel. Just click the, the various links and you can buy your very own version. And look, uh, if you have a scraggly beard, uh, slightly uh, graying uh, red hair, uh, glasses, and you're on a, a fairly successful diet, then you can be, yes, I do, wouldn't want it, just like Julian. So, whew, I'm exhausted now. I'm going to have to go and lie down. Uh, no, actually, I have to go and vote. 
If you're in this country, right, there are a series of elections taking place in the United Kingdom. Exercise your democratic vote and go and vote. It, sorry, exercise your democratic uh, choice to exercise your vote. Anyway, go and vote. And that's what I plan to do very soon. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry, it went on a little bit longer than it should have done. And see you next time.